Hey guys, prepared wander out in the woods today, and I've got a product review for you that I'm pretty excited about. This is the Nordic Pocket Saw, and I'm sure you have seen these chainsaw style blade saws on Amazon and other places. A lot of survival stores sell them. I've never used one, I've never tested one. So we're going to try this out today on a variety of different types of wood and see how it does. And we'll let you know how this thing goes. Now, Nordic um, is a Swedish company. Um, these were developed in Sweden. And from my research, these things are kind of the, the higher end of these types of saws. There's a lot of lower quality ones that aren't as great. Um, but the Nordics rank really high. So developed in Sweden, I believe the manufacturing is in China, just so you know that, full disclosure. Um, but I think it's a, a very cool concept because for a very lightweight, small package, you are supposed to get a lot of cutting power. And that's the cool thing for like a day pack or a survival kit. This would be a great addition to that. So we'll see how it does and see if it lives up to the hype. Okay. So... <clears throat> Just got this. Um, like I said, I don't have a lot of experience with these. Um, one thing that I've noticed just looking at the, the package, this the saw cutting teeth are on one side. They are not on this side. So you need to know that when you start working with it. Um, but this is, it's a chainsaw chain, essentially. And it's, it has these nice metal connectors that the webbing goes through. And the webbing seems to be pretty decent quality. So. Um, it does come with instructions, and of course I didn't read them, but, you know, I'm a guy, so that, that kind of happens sometimes. But we'll try it on this piece right here. Now this, it's a little rotten, kind of punky, but we'll see what it does, just for the heck of it. And then we'll move up to some other stuff. in the wood a little bit and position it log is it's pretty rotten I think that might be what's catching the teeth to the branch. Did you do that? Yes. <laughs> Last time I was camping out here. Yeah, it was uh, Z, my cameraman. He was camping out here and he had this tight vlog. But it's pretty punky. I mean, it's solid. But it's not, it's a little damp. So I did alright with it, but that's, I mean, ideally that's not the kind of wood you're going to cut. So let's... Okay, so in Ohio grapevine is it's everywhere and it's it's a bit of a nu nuisance but there may be there may be need to cut something back if you're making a camp so I kind of want to see how this does with grapevine just because it's it's something that we have a lot of yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty tough stuff usually. Okay, that was a couple seconds worth of cutting. And there's a good source of water right there. So if you're looking for water, Grapevine, of course, is a good source, and it's pretty filtered. Okay. All right, so here is a good seasoned uh, piece of hardwood. Um, it's probably, I don't know, what do you think for diameter? It's about uh, eight inches. 
maybe, yeah. maybe 10. Yeah, pretty good size. <clears throat> so this blade, or this chainsaw blade, whatever you want to call it, is, I think it's to 23 inches, or 30 inches, something like that. I'll have the specs down below in the captions. So I know this would take a while with a handsaw. Let's see what this does. It's cutting underneath the log. It's also cutting the side. I can see the blade is getting closer and closer. like work, isn't it? Yeah. Not as young as I used to be, but uh, I am, I'm halfway through, if not more. Let's see, keep going, let's see if I can get through this. So, I don't know, 10 seconds of cutting maybe, maybe. Um, Keep going, old man. I will, okay, so it's not like there's a lot of upper body fatigue. There's just a couple inches left. So you can see that blade is pinching the log. And as you saw, it's getting closer, closer, closer. And it's cutting on both the push, the pull. So I need to do more cardio. That's a note to self. But. She goes. That was my seat. <laughs> so there's the wood. You can tell that is dry, seasoned wood. Cuts, we could have a campfire. Yeah. Well, I guess if you use light pressure, okay, and just let it do most of the work. Now, you know, I had a total shoulder replacement last year. Okay. And my left shoulder is pretty weak. Well, I think that's my my problem. Anytime I saw something, I try to power through it. Yeah, and that's so not it's not the best way. It's not the correct way of doing things. I'm just pulling real light. Yeah, I can tell. You're, it's a very gentle pull. You're taking your time. And you've got to be halfway through. Close to half, yeah. yeah, at least. Yeah, I how's just it? wanted to try it. Yeah, how's it feel? Um, not bad. Yeah, you know, for somebody who's very out of shape and have a bad shoulder, it wasn't bad. Hmm. But you could, two guys could do that. So now you're putting more speed into it like I was, and that's where I I wore myself out. Yeah, I was trying it, and it's <laughs> it's easier to. That slow cut method. And I'm just I'm just pulling it enough to get it through the wood and you can see the the wood parts flying off of it. Yeah, it's throwing it's throwing little uh little dust. You gotta come over here and try try doing a tune roll with me. Okay. So if that's on the timing, right? Okay, you pull first. Okay.
Yeah, that wouldn't be bad at all, would it? No. Mine stuck. stuck. <laughs> yeah, binds that up. That's my fault. You got to keep it, I guess, straight, right? Yeah. You got to mind how you're. Because it's pulling toward me too much. Right, it will bind. So there's the cut. See how thick that is? How wide that gap is? It's cutting way up here on the sides and then down you can probably see it if I can get it there we go it's right there see it it's a little little under half on the bottom side but more than half on the top if that makes sense close this out together I'll, I'll, I can do the talking and then you can I'll ask you some questions or you can interject Okay. Yeah, I'll sit yeah. here and it'll be pretty. Yeah, yeah. Man candy. <laughs> okay, so did some testing. Um, obviously, with that big eight-inch log or whatever, that dry log, man, that thing it, it it cut through it pretty well. And as Z was demonstrating, the easier pull yeah. is the preferred method. I was going for speed and I wore myself out and I had to take a couple breaks. Of course, I'm really old, old in shape. I'll be honest, <laughs> but um, still, I mean, we both own silky saws, right? Yeah. And I own a couple. I own a couple. I'm own the big boy and one of the smaller ones. I also own Bacos, and I know from experience because I've used those for years and years. That would have taken me a lot longer, and I really would have been um, sucking wind. Yeah, we'd my, still be cutting. Yeah, we'd still be cutting. And my shoulders and arms would eventually give out. This um, really did a nice job going through. So um, price point on these, this is like $49 on Amazon. There'll be a link down below in my, in my store if you want to check it out. Um, there are a bunch of these on Amazon right now, a lot of different brands that are copying this. Um, but I don't think they're... I don't think they're the same quality. I mean, you get you get what you pay for sometimes. And what's the search word to look those up? Um, so it would be Nordic pocket saw or Nordic pocket chainsaw. Any of those will pocket chainsaw. Pocket chainsaw will bring it up. Like I showed before, your cutting edge or blades or whatever, I don't know which what call those. What do they call those on a chainsaw? I'm not a chainsaw guy. Blade. Blade. That it's on one side. It's not on the back side. Um, it is high carbon steel, so you definitely want to take care of it out in the field and make sure it doesn't rust because that's going to cause you some issue. Okay. So it comes with a really nice nylon case. It's got a belt loop on the back. And it does come with a set of instructions. Let's just take a gander at what this uh, So it's got safety warnings, five year limited warranty. I think that's interesting because not a lot of companies will warrant stuff for five years. Uh, user guide, keep the chain straight and stretched while in use. Keep hands in a sufficient wide position to avoid contact with the chain while in use. Okay, that makes sense. Remember, it's about technique and control, not about speed and force. Uh-huh. You right. should have read the instructions. Well, see. <laughs> Why would I do that? Uh, respect the blade and be careful. Right there, don't lick it. Don't lick it. <laughs> Store the saw in a dry and safe place. Care instructions, keep it dry and clean. Keep the teeth sharp by regu regularly using a four millimeter round file for sharpening. The chain should also regularly be lubricated with chain lube. So... Oh, well, there's the instructions right there. Send yeah. the picture. Yeah. <laughs> Well, that's how you do it. Oh. Okay. So that's it. The Nordic pocket chainsaw. I think it's definitely worth throwing into a kit, wouldn't you? Oh, agree? yeah. I mean, it's small. It's lightweight. Doesn't take up much space, but yeah. it's a very usable too. The challenge is, is always finding gear that's small enough to fit into a kit that you can take along with you. You start carrying pocket saws. You know, they take up a fair amount of room. Uh, this is 
it's fairly lightweight. I mean, there's really not a lot of weight to it. Um, it collapses down pretty easily. What you do is you wrap it in a circular motion. Put it on the front of your pants. <laughs> Not, we're not giving him tips on how to smuggle stuff into prison. <laughs> so. I'll put that in your prison pocket. New, 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 new. <clears throat> so it fits down in here <clears throat> pretty easily. Now, I, <clears throat> when they sent me this, I requested the the bright orange handle because I'd like that because if I drop that on the on the forest floor, I can find it pretty easily. It does come in a couple different colors. It's like an olive drab and something else. I can't remember, maybe a yellow or a blue. But, you know, it's a nice heavy duty case. You and your orange stuff. I know. I like orange stuff. I like the fine stuff. That's, there you go. It's pretty solidly built. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, it's a nice little case. Put that on your belt. <laughs> Thanks, Vanna. <laughs> Vanna White right here. <laughs> All right, guys. We're going to get out of here. Thanks for watching the video. Uh, you'll definitely be seeing this in my kit and be using it on campouts and stuff uh, this coming summer. So... Somebody's got to cut my firewood. <laughs> well, yeah, it's going to be me. So, since I got the saw, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, you'll definitely be seeing more of these. Uh, as always, thanks for watching. Please check out the affiliate links down below to the Amazon store if you're interested in purchasing one of these. If you are interested in a prepared wanderer patch or sticker, those are in the Big Cartel site. Those are in the links down below as well. And as always, thank you for watching, and we will see you next time on The Prepared Wanderer. Like, subscribe, and share. Perfect. <laughs>